Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48th World YouTube channel. We're just going to get right on into it. I'm coming to you with a blast from a, the past. We're talking about in the late 1970s all the way up to 1988. That's right. We're talking about what's happening. Hey, 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 hey. That's what Dwayne used to always say. Okay, and Reron was basically the jokester, the fine go lucky type of guy. Roger was always the intelligent one that spoke on just about everything, giving his opinion. Half the time it was right, but he had a big heart. But really, the show really, really surrounded behind Reron. Okay, Reron was the uh, be all, want to hang all with him type of, uh, it was in the 70s type sitcom show. Okay, but I'm going to go into one episode that I really, really love. It was season two, episode seven. Uh, the play's the big thing. It's basically uh, a setting back in school, high school times, and everybody had their little cliques. Everybody had their little friendships and stuff. And um, they were doing a play, or it was an assignment from a teacher, which was their teacher, Mrs. Collins. She was, I guess, an English teacher or a history teacher, and she was doing uh, a play or just showing your performances and how you got about presenting it to your classroom. <coughs> and um, each person had a different thing to do. Reron decided he wanted to, well, he didn't really have anything to do, so Dwayne had suggested to Rod, since he was writing a play, to let Reron star in the play. So he had something to do since he didn't have an idea of what to do for his assignment. And, of course, Raj was writing a play and uh, very good in school. The teacher loved him and she called herself bringing out one of her fellow colleagues that's in the um, journalistic world but play uh, that does reviews and plays. And he has a, um, a idea or he has a position in his career where he can go look at current talent acts and try to bring them on to his uh, television show or where he works and it's called Happy Times. So he might be a writer or producer or something to that effect and he goes out and scouts and looks for new talent. And the teacher, Mrs. Collins, thought Rod uh, would be a very good uh, case to study to see if he had that entertainment type of quality that he could be looking for and probably put him on as a journalist or write for uh, the company that he works for, which is Happy Time. And of course, Dwayne, you know, he's the jock as well as, you know, everybody's favorite friend to talk to and relate to. And he calls himself wanting to sing. And God knows throughout the episode when he had to perform, I'm like, no, uh-uh, sit down. You're very theatrical, but you really wasn't funny. Unless you just want to laugh at all the missteps and the, how he was missing notes and all that kind of stuff. But it, 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 when he was up there performing, the classroom was basically like, uh-uh. <laughs> what are you doing up there? You're making a fool like yourself. Sit down. But anyway, um, let me see. Oh, let me see, 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 see. Okay, then just to take back a little bit of uh, some scenes where... Roger was basically performing or acting out some scenes with his mother. And Rerun and uh, Dwayne walks in. Because nobody really never knocks on those sitcom shows. They just have open free passes, turn the knob, and you're in their house. But anyway, they were good friends. And I guess uh, Roger's mom, uh, I think her name was Mabel King in real life. But she played... Uh, Roger's mom, I forgot what her name was. I think, I can't remember. But anyway, it's not even important, not even relevant. Because I'm just there for the kids and their antics. But uh, he was rehearsing with his mom and they walked in on him. And they thought he was being very disrespectful and that he just lost his mind. And, you know, Rewan grabbed him and said, oh, Miss Thomas, we're going to get him some help. Because he don't know what he's saying. Because <laughs> he, Roger was delivering a screenplay where he was like telling his mama all that. She didn't know what she was talking about. He was going to live his life the way he wanted to live his life. And he was leaving and this, that, and third. You know, just trying to get his mama straight. Where in real life, some people who did that would be 
pushing up days is six feet under, you know, because parents back in the day, especially black parents didn't play that mess. Okay, they'll go out your head, your whole body, and be ready to take the breath that God breathed into you out of you, okay? But um, that was funny. And then, you know, uh, Roger's mom and Raj were saying, hey, they're practicing uh, running lines uh, so Raj can, you know, do his play and present his play you know, with perfection, and so they like, oh, okay, and so that's how basically it came along what each party was going to be doing for their school assignment, that if you were in the F range, you needed to ace this, uh, this assignment, so you can at least pass the class, okay, but we know Roger was always an A student or whatnot, and he was already perfecting his profession or his career that he wanted to follow, which was to be a playwright or an actor, whichever took off first for him so then it got down to um the point where um they were going to present the play at school and um of course Dwayne went first and he was just a hot mess even though the teacher Mrs. Collins was smiling and the uh, producer from Happy Times was there and he was you know looking at it and he was like uh-uh you know, but he didn't really give bad advice. He was like, okay, it was good, whatever. You know, he didn't want to shoot nobody's dreams down. But there was no, uh, from a scale of one to ten, uh, Dwayne got a zero. <laughs> okay? He wasn't even in the playing field. But, uh, you know, he tried. He did what he had to do. You could tell he was nervous, but it, it was just a hot mess. So, um, Mrs. Collins was asking everybody, basically, you know, to critique Dwayne's performance, and nobody wanted to say anything. She had to roughly remind them verbally that, you know, their assignment did pose a grading if they didn't critique each other's uh, performance or whatnot. So, <laughs> Freddie, not Freddie, but Rerun jumped up, gave his two cents, and it was just like on point. You know, he didn't bash his uh, friend because, you know, Rerun has a heart. And he's loyal. So, he's like, you know, he, he presented something. You know, it had this, it had that. He was good. Uh, whatever. And, you know, that was pretty much it. Nobody else, uh, but, you know, nobody else really had to say anything because everybody really showed their facial expressions like Dwayne shouldn't have been up there from start to finish. Okay, he should have just got an L or just wrote the song down, you know, and let the man play it. Uh, on his piano or his organ. Then it came up to Roger's time where he was presenting his play and, uh, you know, he had the little girl up there. She was doing her part. Rerun was just coming in, messing up everybody's lines and he was just nervous and he was repeating the girl's line that she was supposed to have. He just made a total debacle of the whole play and, you know, uh, Raj got so frustrated. He was like, forget it. I quit, you know. And so it ended there because they had no more time. The school bell had rang and, you know, she dim dismissed everybody and it was just what it is. So towards the end, you know, Raj was not going to let his friend go down. He was talking to the teacher, Ms. Collins, because Ms. Collins said, you know, I read your play ahead of time. I knew it was going to be perfect. It was on point. Da -da -dee -da -da -da. He got an A. She, he was asking about, well, what about rerun? She was like, uh, -uh rerun was a hot mess. That was an L job, you know. She, he was like taking up for him, saying, no, no, no. He, he, he performed the play, uh, as how I read it in the script. Everything that you saw, I wrote. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you believed it that it was a horrible play, that's basically what I was writing. You know, I'm like, okay, if Miss Collins believed that hogwash of a response of a defense for rerun then okay so be it but you know roger was really throwing you know the pace on you know for the bait real nice that rerun was doing all what he had trained him to do and on the flip side rerun was going in telling the actor i mean not the actor but the producer or uh i don't know owner or somehow of happy times uh producing company where they produce different shows or whatnot produce people plays and make it into a, a sitcom or reality show. I don't think we had reality shows back then, but it was just, you know, a broadcast of a show. And anyway, he thought that it was horrible. It wouldn't make it in the real world. If it's it was okay for, you know, getting an assignment done, you know, high school, whatever, but now he wasn't interested 
and what Raw Chat presented and this, that, and third. And Rerun said, no, you're crazy. He's good. You'll be glad. You'll be lucky to have him. da dee da la And he's like, oh, really? Oh, oh, okay. Whatever, you know. But my point is my point. I made it, and I'm not changing it. It was a hot mess. So Rerun was like, <sighs> defending him like, oh, if that's what your show is all about, Raw don't need to be a part of it. This, that, and third. So both of them had love for each other and had loyalty. When it came to their friendship. So that's very rare. Uh, in these days. Days and times. And even back then. You know because people just mostly thinking about themselves. How they can get over this and third. But they really both were. Uh, fighting for their friendship. And uh, trying to make each other excel. In what they needed to have done. At that time. So I thought it was a good show. You know y'all need to catch it. They don't really have too many. Images that you know, from back in the day where this actually show was coming on. Um and in what do you call it? Residual not residual but signication. It's in signication. Now I don't know if they got the royalties to uh get money from how they're playing it on these networks now. But they should have or they should have tried to go back and renegotiate once the stuff stuff started coming on, you know, cable. Because they, you know, they deserve the money. They, they deserve to get something, you know, reconstructed back since it's an old show. And you're trying to bring it back for nostalgia for people like myself, like looking at it. You know, don't really want to go purchase it, you know, like full episodes or full seasons. You know, you could play it on TV because we're paying for cable anyway and everything that's being shown. So, it should come a part of the package. And I really think they should have some, you know past due monies, royalties given to them too, since we're still looking at it. But, you know, hey, depends on how you got your contract set up, and this, that, and the third, and people that own the show at the time, don't own the show no more, so other people are making money moves, and it just don't include you. So, it is what it is. But I thought I would give that to y'all. I love watching shows on my spare time when I'm not doing anything. Something that's like feel good type of shows that make you want to go back or at least in your memory, uh, your brain, go back to times when things were just simple and you weren't an adult yet and you just live in life and no responsibilities, no cares of the world and everything was just cool. So, you know, I definitely reviewed good times. That's what I was really looking for uh, to do, but... You know, I, I do things that spark my interest at the time and not put me on the schedule where I have to do this. I have to do this story. I have to do that story, you know, to get people to watch. And I'm this type of person. If you like my personality, you like the content that I put out and my spin on it or my opinion, then that should be enough, you know. But uh, it is what it is. You watch me. You get kikis. You get laughs. You enjoy my content, whatever. And we can move forward. If not, thank you for stopping by. Um, and viewing my channel, I do uh, love that as well, and I love comments, you know, but um, like I said, I try to do things that I like to do uh, to make people laugh, to make them feel good, or just put them back in nostalgia of longing for past things that were, you know, pretty good uh, growing up with, and seeing and viewing, and having a good memory. Hello? Okay, bye. Um, so now it's time for me to eat breakfast, so I thought I will just put this video out, you guys enjoy it, maybe I'll be back today with another feel good throwback from the past, a blast from the past of a sitcom show that I used to love looking at, or I may be doing something up to date, who knows what you'll get on my channel pretty much, but enjoy it, talk to you soon for another video review, thanks, bye bye.